Hi Virgo! Welcome to April 2019. You're ready to move forward and the rest of the world is on a coffee break. Now that's because your avatar Mercury is still in Pisces until the 17th. And that's the shadow cycle of the retrograde of in the entire month of March. So it is getting better however it's not there yet. Good things are happening. We all have to be more patient in here with this year, this 2019. That's a very karmic month for all of us. And that's because both Pluto and Saturn are coupled with the south node in Capricorn opposing the north node in Cancer. Beneficial for you is Capricorn is your sister sign and pours positive energy into any planet you have in Virgo. And Cancer sextiles Virgo. So you are in a better position than most of us. However, because of the karmic nature of Saturn, Saturn is the Lord of Karma and he's just doling it out onto all of us. <laughs> and so we're all on different timelines. So you may feel ready to go with your avatar direct now. And even when he jumps into Aries. However, where is everyone else? What timeline are they on? How is Saturn kicking their butt? So be aware of that. That in your universe, you're ready for action. You're ready to move forward what's going on with everyone else and with that karmic Saturn in that area of creative self-expression true love romance freedom the inner child the outer children self-confidence this is an area where you're really being tested and you want to be, of course, listening to what Saturn is teaching you at this time. And I've said this, you know, in, in the 2019-2020 forecast. I've said it in the, uh, all the uh, monthly I've done this year. The decisions we're making in 2019 is setting the foundation for the next 20-year cycle because Jupiter is going to conjoin with Saturn next year and that is a new 20-year cycle so this is a very important year even if it's not a year of super breakthroughs <laughs> super breakthroughs there is this foretelling that's happening here particularly in april with the heavyweights saturn and pluto coupled with that north node south node opposing the north node so it's not about delays for you as it can feel like pause. We've hit the pause button, particularly in this Mercury through Pisces cycle. And once he gets into Aries on the 17th, that will feel better. Now, the new moon in Aries, and I do like both these moons, Jupiter is with both of them loosely with the with the Aries new moon but right on with the uh, Libra full moon on the uh, 19th but so is Saturn and Pluto and they're making a grand cross with both of these moons and that is very intense so for some of you you may not feel loved and appreciated by others at the Aries new moon you just may feel like you you know, getting up, doing what you got to do, keeping it moving. But, you know, where's the love? Where's the appreciation? This too shall pass. I think what the universe, what I'm getting is, what the universe is saying, give it to yourself. Love you. Whatever you want others to give to you, you give to you. Don't wait on others to get it. Because we're all just dealing with this karmic load of Saturn, Pluto, and the nodes. The north node is the direction of life you're to go in. The south node is where you're to travel no more. So 
it, the universe is about focusing on really the spiritual, the emotional, the compassion. Even though we don't see so much of that in the world right now, it is going on. We just don't have the opportunity to focus on it. Um, with, I mean, sometimes you see it in the news, like really good stories about people that are just, you know, paying it forward and just being heroes and compassionate. And it's beautiful. It's fabulous to watch. For you, it, I'm getting that it's, it's about really tapping into that inner being, that inner knowing of who you are becoming now. Not who have you been, but who are you now? And where is it taking you? What projects are you working on that give you passion? Where is that passion? Do you feel that sense of passion? in what you do, in your work. Go where the passion is. Go where the energy is. Do what gives you energy. You need to rejuvenate yourself. The body, the soul, the spirit is asking for rejuvenation. And we don't get that from working, working, working. You get that from time out, doing nice things for you, taking time away from the work, work, work. Saturn brings out the workaholic in all of us. And he's in the fun part of your chart, which means he takes the fun out of the work or the projects or whatever you're doing. That's why it's really important to listen to the inner child. Cancer is the cosmic child. And that's the North Node. And so the universe is saying, Virgo, what does your inner child want? What feeds your soul? What rejuvenates you? What energizes you? Now the Libra full moon on the 19th is also being challenged by Saturn and Pluto just like the Aries new moon. However, Jupiter is the way out. <clears throat> with the Libra full moon. Jupiter is in positive energy flow with both lights. He's sextile the Libra moon and trine the airy sun. And for you, it's all about like projects that feed your soul, home improvement, doing fun things for you, getting away from people. So if you're finding that people are like annoying or aggravating. You need to spend time at home. You need to spend time doing fun things for you because this is just all the Saturn Pluto crapola. <laughs> That's Italian for crap um, <clears throat> that we have no control over. And we're all being whacked with it. Just depends on where the whack is coming from. So, but the Jupiter way out for you is, is the home, the inner being like the inner universe, getting away from the outer world, going within, doing what's fun for you, whatever's fun for you. And if people are pushing your buttons, you want to just, you know, move away. Don't, don't give them your energy. Keep your energy and put your energy into fun things that make you happy. Mars is in a wonderful part of your chart. Mars in Gemini is, for those of you that work for other people, ask for the raise, ask for the promotion, wait until Mercury's in Aries. <laughs> and even maybe when the sun goes into Taurus would be good too, because Taurus is your sister sign and that'll happen on the 20th. But having Mars in Gemini is very good for your career or the business you own. So, you can ask for a raise or a promotion or raise your rates. If you own your own business, raise the rates. This is a good time for you to raise your rates and you'll get it. So it's like the universe is saying, ask and you shall receive. 
with your destiny in the world, your reputation in the world, your profession in the world, your career achievement in the world. Not so much with like personal relationships or even your clients can be annoying or your customers <laughs> or even family. That's okay. It's this energy that we're, we're moving through. But it does get better and you're going to love May. <laughs> and you're going to like April too. April is definitely better than March. The weight is, you know, is, is, March has just been like so challenging with the Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Sun enters Taurus on the 20th. Venus enters Aries on the 20th. And we celebrate Happy Easter here in the States on the 21st. Woohoo! And then gorgeous Earth Day on the 22nd. Now that's a great day for you to get out and have some fun. Walk barefoot on the Earth. Merge with Gaia, beloved Mother Earth, who feeds us. Without her, we're nothing. And celebrate you and now with Taurus pouring positive energy into your Virgo planets you're gonna really like that that's really good the Sun will couple with Uranus on the 22nd that it can be like this awakening for you like the spiritual awakening or insight into maybe something that you need to do like long-distance travel take a trip get away journey some sort of journey now if you can't physically get away it can be astral travel it can be uh, spiritually it can be through reading you know, through something of the mind a journey of the mind a journey of the spirit it can also be an awakening of some training that you want to take or some skill that you want to develop or maybe you want to be teaching this is for those of you that want to be teachers or are teachers and there's something you maybe there's a course you want to create so you're thinking about the course that you could create Pluto will station retrograde on the 24th. This is good news. And then Saturn stations retrograde on the 29th. This is really good because this allows you to integrate what you've been learning since they went direct in 2018. We need planets to retrograde so that we can digest all of the growth work that we're doing not always be on or pushing forward which is really nice and they're in, both of them are in positive energy flow with the Taurus new moon and the Scorpio full moon next month it's gonna be completely different than these energies here even though I love the Aries new moon and of course Libra I love Libra moons these cardinal signs are just getting pummeled by Saturn and Pluto in the cardinal so and with Saturn coupled with the south node exact on the 30th and then July 4th and then September 27th gosh, it is it is very karmic right now so this is about you really listening to what Saturn is teaching you at this time about your creativity about your self-confidence, about your romantic or personal relationships, your children, your projects. This is where you're being grown and tested. And for some of you, you may be feeling like, what you envision for yourself or what you envision for your future it's just like it, either it's not here yet or it's on pause this too will shift for you I see a big shift in May 
in this area where things are going to open up because the heavyweights are going to be in harmony with the gorgeous Taurus new moon and the uh, Scorpio full moon. Both energies you love because they harmonize with you. But here in April, we're being tested and it's challenging because Aries is an action sign. Aries is the first sign. So we all have this impulse to take action, make things happen, charge ahead. And yet Mercury is not out of its shadow cycle until the 17th. Saturn and Pluto are challenging this new moon. Saturn's saying, oh yeah, where are you going? Oh really? How do you feel about delays? How do you feel about the word pause? Then he's over there with the Libra full moon bringing up power issues, control issues. Uh, you know, we're going to see this where some people are really acting out in a very cold, cruel, callous way. We'll see it in the news. And that energy, you know, does not work with Libra, which is about love and harmony and fairness and justice. So we're going to see this crisis, you know, at the Libra full moon or culmination now for you it is in the area of what you love and value how you're using your resources and perhaps for you it's more about asking for that raise asking for that promotion is what I'm getting for you it's more about just saying I'm worthy and therefore I'm raising my rates and I'm worthy therefore I'm asking for the promotion I'm asking for the raise and you'll get it and for those of you that work for yourself when you raise your rates you get better people and you get better clients better customers and you get uh, you make more money, you're, you're more prosperous. So definitely do it. And I do see you making more money this month. Now for those of you open for love, available for love, absolutely, you know, be open. And with the energy moving into Taurus, and especially next month, that's, I see love, you know, it just, it's just going to be easier for you to attract that in or to attract in people that are worthy of you third week on with the sun in Taurus and then the new start with Taurus in May because that's going to be in harmony with the North Node and Saturn and Pluto. It's just going to open things up. However, you know, if someone approaches you or you feel that call, go have coffee with them. Go to dinner with them. Go out. It's good for you to go out and have some fun. See where it goes. For those of you coupled, Ask for what you need with your partner and things are going to get better like I said third week on and then next month in this area of relationships and partnerships things are definitely getting better here It's just where the universe is just testing and testing. So if you feel tested by your partner or, you know, your children even, or people in your life, then that's where you really need to be there for you. Like be your own best friend. Be, be good to you. Nourish you. Nurture you. Because we're all going through it. We just need to 
take care of ourselves so that we don't need so much from our partner. We don't need so much from our children because they're going through it too. We're all going through this massive transformation. Career looks really good. Like that is an area where you're going to shine this month and your patience pays off and you get the money, you get the reward. Spiritually, take that time to rejuvenate yourself. It's really the big message in here with you. You know, the universe is saying, feed your soul. What feeds your soul? Do what feeds your soul. And you're going to have some sort of spiritual insight in here, like an awakening around that 22nd time period with uh, the sun coupled with Uranus is going to be like, aha, now I see the way forward. Now I see what I need to do. And it may feel like even weird, like, oh my gosh, um, this is a foreign idea for me or foreign energy coming into my universe but that's okay because it's expanding your consciousness and opening doors for you so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking favoring sharing my videos virgo you're rocking awesome thank you for subscribing virgo you totally rock and if you haven't subscribed yet please do it helps to support the channel and it'll let you know when i upload and feedback here. I'm answering questions, concerns, feedback right here in the comments section on YouTube. Or hit me up on Facebook. So until next time, Virgo! The universe is listening. Ask and you will receive.